All right, guys, I've been modding this truck for a while, so I think it's about time to uh, go over the mods that are on it. All right, and then go over my future plans. All right, so the mods so far that I've gotten up to, we're going to go with the lighting right now. Lighting, I did. I haven't done anything with the tail lights or the headlights, but the, uh, yeah, the license plate lights are bright. All right, really, they're clean. All right, so I did the license plate lights. We did the recon third brake light. All right, sorry, I'm kind of skimming around. I'll leave a link in the description to all the parts. Recon third brake light. All right, uh, Pro Comp rock lights. There's six of them, cheap and they are bright. Uh, lights came with the steps. I should change those maybe to match everything else. White lights, uh, interior lights really didn't do too much. Just some uh, simple LEDs, keep them from looking yellow. All right, uh, I was trying to get rid of all the yellowness. Uh, the headlights are really bad. If you, when I was looking at it when I was drag racing, uh, the footage from the outside. Holy moly, are my lights super yellow, the headlights. All right, uh, did the uh, pods and the footwell lights. And this is cool because it's just a remote and bulbs. Got a few videos on that. All right, I want to keep moving along here. Uh, how do we stop this? I just hit one of these. All right, uh, okay, so simple LEDs on the inside. Uh, footwell lights here. Uh, interior lighting, interior lighting. I did the, uh, what's that there? The, uh, installed this little dilly dally here. All right, and then I put an LED in there. All right, so that's interior lighting. All right, we went over the rock lights, the pro comp. Got some up here. We're almost done with lighting. LEDs are in the deadhead. Yes, very bright, nice. And then I did the, uh, oop, where you at? I got this remote in my hand. Okay, we did this. I could have doubled it up, still can, just haven't. So it's one LED and I did the uh, under hood light deal. This is a 2015 Ram 1500 Express. Really dirty right now. Uh, doesn't come with much, but I added a lot. All right, so that's the lighting. wasn't really too much into lighting. I do want to do the headlights and the tail lights. But as far as lighting, it's about all I'm going to do. I want to do lighting in the back here where I can light up my nitrous setup, which I will show you later in the daylight. All right, and it's all under the seat here. It's dark right now, guys. We'll go over that here in a little bit. Uh, there's a nitrous setup under the back seat. I'd like lights on that probably as far as I'm going to go on lights. So future mod on lighting, headlights, tail lights. That's probably about it. Maybe change those if I feel froggy. So lighting, that's all I got on lighting. I will leave a link in the description uh, to all these dilly dallies, uh, the pods under here. Okay. There was already connections in my truck. I don't, all of them, all the years don't have them. Probably the older years. Uh, so all I had to do was put connect the pods to the uh, connector it was already there on both sides and then put the bulbs in. So that's what's up with the pods. The pods are hard to find. All right, You might be able to get them from the junkyard. They're just straight plug and play. The connector is already there on a lot of the years. All right, So uh, especially the newer ones. Um, all right. Yep. Lighting. Let's get it going. Now we're going to do all the rest of the mods that I've done to this truck on this YouTube channel. Uh, it's quite a bit. All right, there's some mods I've done that are trashed. And I'm going to show you those mods as well. All right, so you guys don't make the same mistake as I did. All right, I don't want you guys making the same mistakes. Hot damn hell yeah. All right, let's wait till daytime. I'm at work right now. Actually, and uh, it's probably going to be the best time. It's, you know, nice little scenery here. Uh, to get this done. All right, taking too long. Hot oh, man, here comes a uh, diesel nader. This is called the drag racer. Yeah, hot damn. Hot damn.
Alrighty, fellas and fellas, it's daytime, and I want to go over the rest of my mods real quick and my future plans. Most of you guys have already seen a lot of these mods. I have a ton of videos on these mods. If you're looking for those videos, I have them somewhere. Alright, I apologize. I might not put those links in the description. Alright, but uh, somewhere in the 400 and something videos, there is a video about something on this truck, I guarantee it. All right, hot down. All right, so to continue on, all right, six inch lift, pro comp. Uh, it's nothing bragging or nothing. I'm just giving you a heads up what I bought. I bought the best lift kit that they offered, all right, which came with coilovers, adjustable shocks, adjustable everything. It's been on the truck for like over two years or so. And, uh, very good lift kit and I'm not saying it's the best but I have zero I've had zero issues with the lift kit all right so that's a mod uh there's one of them uh bushwhacker fender flares had them color matched all right uh amp research steps these are the extra large all right and basically what they do is they block rocks from flying up and chipping here they're not rock or you can't slide over rocks with them all right it's not like rock sliders off-road type deal okay it's not what those are but what they do is hide a three inch drop all right they look cool and then hide this three inch drop for the amp research steps all right so the steps drop three inches lower all right than the uh, normal steps for to accommodate for the lift all right and then to go with the lift kit all right the good old core four by four control arms Ooh, baby these are it right here promo code hot damn on their website if you use that you get a good little discount all right you can get it at most performance too he will give you a great deal as well all right and it came with pan hard bar badass all right uh for the uh the uh, diff, I changed the fluid, I got a video on it, I changed the fluid out of the differential and I replaced the goo with the lube locker seal and that thing is amazing. No leaks, no nothing, holy moly. Purple cranium, all right, uh, that right there just looks badass. But if I'm backing into a rock on accident because I like to do a little off-roading, that will protect me a little bit, all right? And I like how it's solid, you know? And uh, there's also another deal if I'm gonna hit a rock and for some reason the diff cover just so happens to hit the edge of the rock and pull back and I lose my fluid right that's not good with that uh, purple cranium it gives you a nice solid ow I hit my head nice little solid uh, grip there so it can't peel back if you know what I mean I'm trying to explain it but having a hard time because all I'm doing is thinking about you know what the next mod I'm gonna tell you about I don't want to forget something that's the problem I'm having right now I apologize all right so uh, like I said I got a video on all this stuff uh Hellwig sway bar all right uh, four by four so I can only find one for the rear the front is stock got that at most performance badass all right uh and these are the pro comp uh, what are these the in links right here I want to get the uh, core four by four ones Pro Comp seems to be working pretty good, but the Core 4x4 are really beefy. Uh, the Hellwig Sway Bar is adjustable. You're just kind of going to have to kind of play with it. I know some guys are going to ask me, you know, what's the best hole setting. I, you know, that's kind of going to be what your set. what is your setup. You know, that's what it's going to be about. Carving. I had a carving exhaust. All right, to move along, I apologize. Uh, this is kind of just to show you what mods I got on it right now. All right, don't want the video too long carving tips I had a carving exhaust all right but uh had to go because homeowner association complaint so it's got the stock exhaust on there for now but there was a carving all right and it sounded badass um rust protection bunch of videos on that kind of got rid of a lot of the rust as much as I could right you don't notice a lot of rust back there all right things look good uh, I told you about the uh, Pro Comp Rock lights, cheap, you know, wheels are wheels. I got two sets, one for drag racing and one for just daily driving. 
I got the uh, bed liner didn't come with it. Line X, love it, looks good always. Uh, DZ, mine works. Some don't work for some guys. Ooh, I'll put some garbage back. Yeah, that's foul. Foul ball, I gotta spray that out. Put some garbage back there to take it to the dump. And now it looks like someone took a dump right there. Decals, normally wouldn't do it, but these guys are badass. I don't like stickers, but I like them. Uh, exterior mods. Let's go over real quick. Oh, upper control arms. Instead of buying new ones, I kind of tack welded mine in. Yeah, it's cheesy, but it works. Uh, LED innovations. Tons of skulls on that website. Light up, badass. See here, not too much exterior mods. This is for the, this is the purge for the uh, nitrous. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go around the other side. Let's go around the other side. Let's check out some other mods on the inside. Let's get a little intimate. All right, so I did the instrument cluster. It is a limited. Uh, I'd like to take that out and actually replace it because this is not a limited, but the cluster is really cool. Uh, did the cluster swap. Works perfect. Has my miles on it. Was programmed before uh, it got shipped to me. And I have a custom tune on the truck. Uh, I'm using uh, the Diablo Sport tool to transfer that tune to the PCM. I don't have a separate uh, computer for my transmission because I got the... Uh, yeah, exactly. But it moves, it does what it does. Uh, moving along, 4th Gen Ram Electronics. All right, I gotta slow my tone down so it doesn't make the audio too choppy. 4th Gen Ram Electronics, I got that, uh, whatchamacallit, 8.4 conversion. It's Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay, we don't need you here. It is amazing. It works with everything. It says Apple CarPlay up there. My navigation displays in here. That is totally cool. Um, whoa, Billy. Whoa, Billy. What do we got here? Climate. The climate works on it. If you turn it on here, I mean, everything works on it. Super cool. There's nothing that doesn't work. Uh, another thing I got from 4th Gen Ram Electronics was an aux panel. Super cool. It's another modification. I sh should have programmed the 5 in there, but I have the 5 as temporary. You get this panel right here. All right, I hit that button. Power's going to a source. This is my rock lights. This is the uh, LED Innovations Deadhead uh, eyeballs. This is the nitrous heater, which is under the back seat over here where the nitrous setup is. And this number four, see, this is totally cool. This turns on the uh, nitrous system. Hit that button, hit the gas, boom. Well, as long as the tank's open and warm, that's all you got to do. Everything is basically automated on that. Really cool. Got a pedal commander. Uh, I really enjoy that pedal command. It, the price is terrible but what it does what it makes me feel when i'm daily driving this truck i can't trade it out sorry you know that's just one of those things i ain't, it's not a performance mod but as feeling you know not junky when you're driving i uh I, I enjoy it you know you'd have to try it and then take it out and then you would you know that's where you would make your opinionated thought on that that's my opinion on that. But anyway, like how I'm jibber jabbering because I'm thinking about what I'm going to show you next because I don't want to forget. All right, I don't want to forget. I apologize. All right, the Apple CarPlay deal, I had to uh, replace this whole console with these USB. They were like Apple CarPlay specific or whatever so i hope i said that right sometimes i say the ocean one or the whatever you know my wife she's always getting at me all right so and this i put this dilly dally in a lot of people complain it's expensive i know if you want it you want it you don't you don't kid puts her feet get your feet off of my dash 
All right, so I already showed you the lighting mods on the interior. Not too many mods. I don't have a ton of mods. I do want to kind of, uh, I wouldn't mind changing the seats up a little bit. All right, interior mods. There's a nitrous setup underneath there. Maybe I'll show you that real quick. I do got kids. It's a daily driver. All right, truck's dirty right now. You know, usually it's, you guys see it clean. Come on out, buddy. I might not have to do that. I'll try to lift it up. All right, interior mods. Make sure that's it. Interior, interior, interior. That's it. All right, so let's go. Yeah. Take me down. All right, interior. What was I going to tell you about? Oh, yeah. I was going to show you the where the bottle sits. Okay. Maybe I can pull this forward and lift this up. All right, so when the bottle's here, this right here goes to the automated heater switch so it doesn't get too hot and it shuts off. There's the heater, wraps around the bottle. This is adjustable so I can put it whatever angle I want, just pull this out. There's different holes. So usually I pull the seat out and then I'll really angle this pretty good when I'm at the track doing pumps. Okay, it has the NHRA safety stuff. That's why there's two hoses. One hose is one hose hoses. One hose goes to the uh, nitrous solenoids. One hose just goes right out to the bottom of the truck. So if the uh, little safety thing on the tank blows, nitrous doesn't spray in the truck. It sprays out of the bottom. All right, I'll show you real quick here. Just so you see, safety first. Come on, baby. All right, I don't want to crush myself. Let's see if I can find it right there. <laughs> what it'll do, it'll just shoot out of there instead of inside the truck. All right, mods, mods, mods. My favorite thing about the uh, Pro Comp is the kicker bars right there. I really like that. All right, mods. Uh, there is a edge racing torque converter in the truck. It's set to 3,000 RPM. This is a crappy 65 RFE, I know. It has a true six speed tune. That's what I like to call it. It operates one, two, three, four, five, six in sequence like it should have from the factory. All right, JBA long tube headers. Those things are amazing. All right, I got those from Lowe's Performance. I wrap my little deal here. JBA headers, if you wanna know, it's a hit and miss on the fitment. You know, but you can make it work. I made it work. Uh, very happy. Uh, skip plates. Nice, nice to have plates and extra support. All right, mods. I don't want to forget. The video is oh, 13 minutes already. Good gosh. I apologize, guys. Because uh, we still got to go over my future plans. Got to open the hood. I think we're almost there. It's not too much stuff on this truck. It's really not. Oh, I blacked out uh, this VHT spray paint years ago. I can't believe that. That stuff's just holding up. All right. So, next, catch can. All right, most performance, engine covers, 3G customs. Yeah, long tube headers. Wow. All right, uh, that's a, I got a secondary PCM. I put my stock one to the side just in case I did the extra, buy the extra one deal. Uh, shooting a hundred shot of nitrous every once in a while. It's a plate system. All right, so a little gas and nitrous right there with shot nice dealy dally. The uh, nitrous solenoids are hidden underneath the uh, windshield wiper cowl in there. All right, purges out of there and then sprays in here. All right, had uh, quite a bit of trouble getting that stuff mounted and staying mounted. It's all my fault. It's whatever it happens. Bear ram intake. Oh, yeah, I like that. Uh, battery cover. Uh, that's something, you know, I don't know how good it is because I'm not a fan of heat. But uh, it's aluminum. I got that from 3G Customs. You can have them custom made. I haven't had a problem so far, but... Uh, and I live in Vegas, it gets hot. Uh, engine covers both sides. So, no problems, I guess. No problems, right? It's not broke, don't fix it. Right? Cutting things out for the intake. 
flow air, pow, nitrous boom. All right, is that the mods? That's all my mods, right? Oh, Denzel 3381 spark plugs uh, for the nitrous. Daily driving for over a year, no problems. All right, gas connected there. All right, uh, mod, 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 mods. That's it, guys. All right, let's go over my, let me make sure. See, I apologize, that's why I'm everywhere. There is a video on like everything. Uh, so if I miss something, you might find it. Oh, throttle body. Bam, there's a mod. Ported throttle body, most performance. All right, one of those. Dude, I know I'm missing some mods. What mod am I missing? What mod am I missing? I'm shaking, my hand's shaking. Mod miss, mod miss, mod miss, mod miss. That's on here. Nope. I think that is about it. There's really not that much. Keeping it kind of simple. I'm not. It's not. I'm not going to mod it forever. I, it is not going to continue to be a money pit. Well, I'm just going to get another money pit. It'll be a, like an eight speed or something. You know, some uh, going to amp up modern technology if you know what I mean. Uh, I think that's it. Mods, nitrous, boom, boom. Torque converters, headers. Throttle bodies, tunes, Hemi Fever, Demi Motorsports, Demi Bibi Motorsports, Demon Motorsports. Ooh, just saying Demon Motorsports makes you mess up. I'm telling you. Make your eyes burn. Mmm, I like it. All right, next. Next up is uh, my future plans. What do I plan on doing in the future, and where is the end game? Alrighty guys, it's day three because I'm lazy. Alright, I want to quickly go over my future mods. I do not want to get into detail or this segment will be too long. Video is already too long. Alright, I just kind of want to show you what I got going on. Alright, this is what I plan on doing in the future. But real quick, the bottle that goes in that bracket under the back seat that I showed you. This is a bottle, 10 pound uh, nitrous bottle, nitrous outlet. These are the second set of wheels that I use just for drag racing. Alright. Would not daily drive on those. Just, uh, I don't think they're very good for daily drivers. Um, future mods, all right? Get it going. I want to put this cam in. I don't have all the parts yet. That's why it's not in. Uh, and I'm not in a hurry, all right? Truck's plenty fast, plenty powerful. I still can get more out of the truck as is without putting this in, all right? Uh, future plans, headlight, taillights, all right? I want to do that. I want to try to get a... Yes, I know. Built transmission from either Hellraiser or Paramount Performance. It doesn't have to hold a ton of power. I don't plan on going any more than what I got going on now. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. I don't plan on going any more than what I got going on now. All right. So, um, see here. Future plans. That's about it. Uh, the aggressor uh, cutout. I want to get that. Exhaust cutout. Uh, remote cutout where I can hit a button and open it and close it and whatever. Uh, future plans. Maybe go to 150 shot. Uh, one of my future plans. Uh, my plan was to hit 13.9 with this truck. All right, it's a lifted six-speed crew cab. I don't expect much. It was pretty difficult to get to 13.9. All right, uh, but now it's like it was difficult to get here, but now things got easier since I got stuff figured out. So I think I can get to the 12.9 with the cam in it. All right. Uh, so and then I'll be good there. All right. 12.9. If the transmission holds, perfect. All right. No more. Don't need to do no more. All right. I'm going to uh, future plans. I'm going to get another truck, 8-speed. I don't know if I'm going to get a single cab, quad cab, a crew cab, a two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. I don't know. But I do know I'm not going to lift it, and uh, it's just gonna, I'm just going to put a ton of power into it and run it. It's just going to be a truck. I'm going to run it, all right? This six-speed I got out here that I'm working with now is just going to be my daily driver. You know, take it easy on it. Do what I got to do, and then have the eight-speed to, to mash. Ooh, hot damn. Uh, so that's, that's about it now. Uh, future plans. Make sure that's all my future plans. Yep, I may paint the truck 
uh, matte or flat black. Uh, I might change the shocks and stuff like that, but that's not really like mods. All right, that mod was already done. You can just make it better or worse all right, with uh, quality of the equipment. Um, yeah, not doing much. All right, let me go over uh, worst mod. All right, the worst mods I've done so far. All right, and that is going to be going to have to whoop because we have, uh, yeah, this is a bad neighborhood. Um, Spawn. Garbage. Got tons of videos on these. I tried hard to spawn garbage. All right, I got a bunch of broken parts in here. Pushing these dilly dallies. Whoa, that got in there. Huh, kids, I love my kids. Yeah, I got some broken pieces in here. Big mistake, but nobody really did a video. Yeah, there's some, here it is. No one was really doing videos on it, but they were, they were talking about how they sucked, but they didn't say why they sucked. This is why they suck. You don't want to be riding, you know, a five, 6,000 pound truck on this, guys. <laughs> It didn't work out too well. I did do this, though. I, I made these deals that slid onto it, like here, to where the arm wouldn't twist. That's why I don't suggest here for uh, cool 4x4 arms, unless you're doing serious off-roading where you need the articulation, because uh, this right here is just going to start rubbing and hitting, and you're going to hear sound. It's not comfortable. All right, yeah, I think if these spawn arms had a fixed end, they would have lasted a lot longer. They would have done a lot better. But since both ends aren't fixed, oh, they move and twist and ride silly. All right, not good. I think that's the only real mistake I made modding my truck. Uh, if you guys are, in, are looking into buying a Ram 1500, don't make the mistake in buying a 5 and 6 speed. You can make them work, but it's just, why waste the money if you don't have to, all right? Think about it before you go down and make a purchase, all right? That 8 speed is going to save you a lot of money in the long end, all right? So, mistake, but going to make it work. It's all there is to it. All right, I think that is it. This video is super long. I'm trying to think future mods. I don't really have nothing in mind. Like I said, I'm not going to do too much more to the truck. I do want to get the cam in. I'd appreciate it if you guys would uh, maybe purchase a t-shirt and whatnot. Hot damn hell yeah. All right, uh, would be cool. Help me get to that point quicker. Uh, I want to hit my 12.9, headlight, taillights, the aggressor cut out. Uh, oh, future mods. See, that's what I'm forgetting. I do want to do the fan delete, the rest of like the bolt-on kits to the engine. Uh, I don't want to go into detail in that. There's a bunch of little components. But, you know, to make it the full bolt-on deal. All right. Uh, I might, in the future, do that uh MMX drop-in kit. I think I said that right. Is it MMX or MX? MMX. Uh, Ford's drop-in kit to make the, etern the internals much stronger, all right, for nitrous booming. And then I can, like, amp up the nitrous spray, maybe to 150 shot plus. Not sure. Uh, that's I might need that to hit that 12.9 too. We'll see, though. We'll see uh, after the cam goes in. If I had the cam in, it would have been a 13.4 last time, so... Uh, and that was in 4,000 feet density altitude. So if it was sea level, it would have been easy 12s, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but that's all hearsay. She say this say that say. Uh, not going to play that game. Just going to go out and try to get it done. Do what I can do. All right, guys. So that's basically, I believe that's all my mods. And what I want to do in the future. All right. There is an end game. I want to get an 8-speed. I'm not sure if I want to get a single cab, quad cab, or crew cab. But I'm going to get one of them, and I'm going to pump it and dump it. All right? I'm going to have, I want to have the fastest 6-speed in Las Vegas and the fastest 8-speed in Las Vegas. Straight up. I ain't going to have the fastest trucks 
in the country because there's a lot of smarter dudes than me out there that are making it happen. But at least in Vegas, you know, I'm not saying people are dumb if you ain't got a fast truck. I mean, I'd be calling myself dumb, but there's just dudes that know what they're doing. All right. It's just bottom line. Hot damn. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I can get this in sometime soon. If not, this will be pumping and dumping next year because uh, definitely not going to hit it in the summer. Uh, I might hit it one time in the summer, but not, uh, not a bunch of summer dumps. Not good. It's way too hot out here. Way too hot. All right, guys. Done and done until the next one. All right. Hot now, yeah.